Powerhouse World Promotions presented War on the Mainland Saturday night at the Bren Event Center in Irvine, California. In the main event, former UFC heavyweight champion Tim Sylvia battled fellow UFC vet Paul Buentello for the inaugural PWP heavyweight title. Sylvia utilized his reach advantage to pepper the headhunter while effectively instigating a clinch and fighting dirty in close. Although Buentello landed some clean jabs of his own, Sylvia's aggression became too much in the second stanza as he floored the former American Kickboxing Academy product with an uppercut and followed with a barrage of hammer fists, prompting referee Big John McCarthy to halt the contest at the 4.57 mark of the round. Sylvia claims the PWP heavyweight crown and improves to 27-6 and six as he turns in one of the most impressive performances in recent memory. In the co-feature, rugged UFC veteran Terry Martin made his welterweight debut against George Ortiz. Although Martin appeared to tire in the final stanza, he did enough damage in rounds one and two, landing powerful strikes and securing significant takedowns to prevail by split decision. The PWP Light Heavyweight Championship was up for grabs as King of the Cage veteran Tony Lopez battled Alliance MMA product Jason Lambert. Lambert won the opening round with dirty boxing and damage inside the clinch. In the second, however, Lambert slipped and got caught by a vicious knee to the chin, which led to his demise 149 into the round. In the fight of the night, former IFL kingpin Matt Horowitz met BJJ ace Talos Leitis in a five-round middleweight title clash. Leitis was the superior fighter early on as he winged punches and land takedowns on the Eddie Bravo student. In the third, Leitis appeared to be on the verge of submitting Horowitz with a tight arm triangle. In a display of his own submission prowess, the fighting hippie reversed the position into an omoplata, but Talos survived to fight another round. In the fourth, Leitis was clearly the more exhausted fighter, and Horowitz capitalized with a rear naked choke forcing the highly touted grappler to submit just 24 seconds into the frame. In an entertaining back-and-forth battle, Aaron Beach utilized effective boxing to outpoint submission specialist Joao Silva over three rounds. Also on the card, the first-ever UFC lightweight champion Jens Pulver returned to 155 pounds against relative novice Diego Garajo. After dropping Pulver with a big right hand, Garajo immediately secured a fight-ending guillotine choke. Pulver is now on a six-fight losing streak, and the MMA legend may be nearing retirement. The opening televised bout featured Gustavo Machado against Rick Reeves in a battle of submission wizards. Interestingly, the two elected to trade strikes for 15 straight minutes in what proved to be an entertaining affair. In the end, Machado did enough to earn a split decision on scores of 29-28, 27-30 and 30-27.